going on you bunch of nerds <laughs> welcome back first of all I want to appreciate you guys watching the videos and subscribing and liking we're doing all right we're a whopping six weeks in for the YouTube channel just wanna say thank you all right we're gonna go over crafting for let's just say medical leaf and tobacco cigarettes so you can make some money on the trader. Right. Let's start with this. This part can confuse people sometimes. How to get it packed up into that. So what you do is you actually combine two make one bag and so forth I'll do one more now once you do that once you get up to 16 just take duct, duct tape combine it with the 16 of those and it will make the brick you can sell it this way at the vendor and that way at the vendor. If you sell it 16 pack at the vendor this way, you get a thousand less. You get a thousand more if you sell it this way. I'll go over the prices here in a minute. Alright, so tobacco. Take one tobacco. Roll a cigarette with the rolling papers. Take the empty cigarette pack. Combine. Easy peasy. Nothing to it. It'll hold five. And you can turn around and sell that at the vendor. Alright. That's pretty much done nothing to it. I would say the most confusing part is how to get the baggies. So you just combine two of them of that medical leaf as I say. Right. The rolling paper rolling papers and cigarette packs you'll find in the world. Also if you can't the vendor they're only a hundred. They're cheap. Nothing to it. Alright, prices. Now note, because you're not probably going to remember all this, if you click server panel here, hit escape, hit server panel, or if you got it set in your keybinds under right here, you can keybind it. That will show all the prices I'm about to talk about for each run. Now when I say run it means one greenhouse for as far as crops one plant uh, blah, blah. Uh, one greenhouse and a garden plot that you make with a shovel. They're both nine slots okay and as far as a run for other things it's usually I'm figuring the price based on an 80 slot backpack which is an average backpack more or less all right so normal animals anything but aggressive animals you'll get 15k per run in your backpack between two hides and the meat to sell at the trader. Wolf is 20k, bear is 30k. I also up spawns on all animals just slightly. Um, gonna see where it goes. I don't want to up it too much, put too much server strain on it because it come, runs under the uh, vents. Fishing 
is 15k per run. You can fit enough fish in your backpack to go back to the vendor and sell for 15k. Farming vegetables, just regular vegetables, is 5k per run because you can do those pretty quick. Farming tobacco, um, a greenhouse full of tobacco and then rolled into packs should get you 8k per run. Farming the medical leaf <laughs> uh, is anywhere from 11k to 25k per brick. One of these. Uh, that's based on the seeds. There are six or seven types of those. And some are rare, so they'll make you more money. As far as back on the fishing, the fishing pole will last you about two runs two backpacks full of fish till it's completely damaged there's nothing that repairs it um, I've got them um, spawning real good on the map and they're very cheap at the um, trader they're in fact a hundred dollars at the trader nothing to it cheesy cheap 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 alright as far as rating um, I had only these doors originally where you use a sledgehammer for tier 3 and you could use it for tier 2 and tier 1 blah 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 um, I had the raid times at 5 10 and 15 based on tier 1 tier 2 and tier 3 I changed it because I was do testing it myself and didn't realize it. that was a long time to get through a door. So it's 5, 6, 7, respectively, Tier 1, Tier 2, Tier 3. And I did make code locks rateable now. And I've just put them at 7 minutes. So it's the max of a Tier 3 door. It takes a hacksaw. They do not spawn very much in the world for that reason. You cannot buy them on the vendor. They do spawn, they're just not all over the place for good reason. Now, all of your rating tools for the door, which can be fire axe, wood axe, hatchet, sledgehammer, and I believe there's one more. I'm not sure what it is. All of those tools, any raid tools, you cannot buy on the trader. You gotta find them. And that's the way it should be. Um, I want to make raiding possible, but you're gonna earn it. <laughs> Simple as that. If I make it too easy, well, it'll be too easy. You're gonna make some money off of people's stuff, you're gonna earn it. <laughs> Simple as that. All right, let's see what else we got here. I think that's pretty much it. This one's going to be a quick video. I just wanted to give you guys an update. All the information I told you is in this server panel here. Um, it'll show all the prices for the runs, the raid times, everything I just spoke about. Keep in mind that I always put update that server panel so it's good to check it uh, especially in the about section and the mod section I may change something behind it and to give you information about the server I try to keep you guys up to date if I make any changes I believe the last mods gonna be demo chargers I'm still getting to it but I just got this figured out so code locks and doors get the times on those I got the times on those really well so pretty much now if you're not in the PvP then instead of just running around and looting and selling looting and selling you can do other activities to make money and that's also good for the server because we're not uh, 
robbing all the loot until it respawns an hour to three hours later. Because, you know, it depends on what item it is. They all spawn different. You guys got any comments, suggestions, please use the YouTube or my Instagram that's on the server panel. Watch my videos. They're helpful. Um, I want to make this one of the best servers. I am going... I believe I can do it now or tomorrow to up the slots to 20. I'm not quite there yet, but I want to open it because it might attract more players. And because um, I have seen it peak almost up to that 10 at times. So I want to make sure there's plenty of room for everybody. One last thing DayZ patched twice this week on me. Luckily, they didn't wipe my files like they like to do. And I have to spend an hour, hour and a half to redo them. Um, it was quick, so the server was down. And uh, keep in mind, I do work a full-time job. <laughs> I'm sure most of you do too. Uh, I usually work 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So usually I don't get home until 4.30ish. And um, that's if I don't work overtime. Very seldom I do. If I do, it's usually eight, another 8 hours. So if the server's down, just be patient. Uh, I had to patch it. It went down twice this week. I came home. Patched the server. Got it right up for you guys. So... Now, when the next big patch comes, I'll give you guys a head warning. Um, anytime a big patch comes, usually they wipe out all the files I have. So, I have to redo them. I've got them all set up to where I can do them. I think I can do it within an hour now. So, it's not too bad. Alright. I appreciate you guys playing. Later.